This NFL best ball edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Circus Sports. They're back with their Circus Survivor and Circus Millions contest. $14 million up for grabs. Get all the details over at circusports.com. We're also brought to you by Bird Dog Shorts. Dominate summer with an amazing pair of shorts and a free Yeti style tumbler when you order over at birddogs.com slash pool. That's birddogs.com slash pool. What's up, everybody? You're watching SGPN. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go, baby. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. I can't wait to engage with the chat bots that we pre-program <laughs> to make it seem like we are live. <laughs> no, we are we are truly live over YouTube.com/slash Sports Gambling Podcast. Smash that subscribe button. Of course, as always, we are live uh, 8:30 Pacific. 1130 East Sunday through Thursday. And we are going to be doing a little bit of vacation, but don't worry. You will not miss any shows as we have pre taped oh. uh, a <laughs> number of great college football previews. I'm laughing because we had a uh, awesome interview with uh, Carson Steele, a transfer oh, running back yeah. for the UCLA Bruins in our Pac 12 preview. A bunch of great takes so far. So we will have I, you covered. I thought you were laughing college football to how, how much, how many hours we've already spent <laughs> talking about college football this week. A tremendous amount. My <laughs> head is swimming. Uh, with college football, it's great to get back to the best football oh, league yeah. in the nation, the National Football League. And hey, if you're looking to bet on the National Football League, what better way to do it than the Circa Millions and Circa Survivor contest? Eight million dollars guaranteed for the Circa Survivor. Six million dollars guaranteed for the Circa Millions contest. Fourteen million dollars up for grabs. Are you kidding me? Sign up in Vegas, play from anywhere, win from anywhere. Very easy to set up a proxy. We can help you out with that. We will be out in Las Vegas at Circa, helping you guys get set up. Sign up for the big, uh, big, two big contests. CircusSports.com. Last weekend in August, we will be there, rocking, rolling. Can't wait. NFL football. Let's go. CircusSports.com. It is amazing. It is truly amazing the difference between NFL Sean levels and everything <laughs> else. Uh, even even greater than USFL Tout Sean levels. Yes, which, which is, is pretty impressive. Very high. Uh, I would say you 20, keep you twenty nine and oh, thirteen Jesus against Christ. the spread you and keep, sitting on my Mahler's future. You keep forgetting to include it in the promo, but also if you're out there the, that weekend to sign up, we will make your week one picks yes. for you. We will make your week one, and well, and we'll tailor it to you. You can say like, "Hey, I'm a guy, uh, you know, I like, I'm a Packers fan. I like dogs. Six foot, two twenty. <laughs> yeah, give us your height and weight, and we will pick out your uh, yeah, circuit shout out Dan Patrick. Week one contest chat is lit. Uh, Andrew Rob in the chat, and also here live with us. You know him from the SGPN Fantasy Football Podcast. What's happening, Andrew? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Are you talking to me? I'm just oh. over here looking at my uh, looking at my nice board oh. from Circa. Compliments of oh, Circa. Yes. I will be I will be coming out to dominate the Circa Let's Millions go. this year. So yes, just just freshening up, figuring out what I need to do here. Yeah, yeah Andrew's got... really gonna just have a, a full blown erection. He's <laughs> doing. The, he's engaged in the in FFPC main event. He's got the Circa. Uh, are you doing the Survivor and the uh, Picks contest? Just the picks. Okay. I am in a, uh, a survivor league that uh, incorporates about 5,000 people. Uh, it's winner take all $20 a ticket. So I usually am a full blown DJ in that and buy like 20 <laughs> or 30 tickets. So oh, I will be not doing the serva, the circus survivor, but the millions. I will be in that million super fun. And I, I would recommend this because I've already had people hitting me up 
Hey, when are you guys going to be out there? Blah, blah, blah. If, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> if it is your first time, <laughs> yada, yada, well, you yada. Know, get a lot of like questions and I'm always down to help, but uh, <laughs> if it is your first time to Las Vegas, yeah. I almost suggest a a warm up casino hangout oh, before you go over to Circa because if yeah. you go to Circa as the first time being in Las Vegas, your your mind is gonna explode. If you walk in and that is your first sports book Las Vegas experience, you're gonna be ruined. It's 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 like having the best sex of your life Sean, the first we- time you get laid. It, you're gonna be ruined. You need to go to some crappy some crappy hole in the wall sports book to just be like, Oh, this is fine. And then you experience the circuit. Uh, absolutely. Before it was even finished being built and it was like, Whoa, this is going to be epic. I mean, it, the, the, the highlight is a, a, a sports book that can be seen from multiple floors. Yes. So yeah. yeah and that's not even the stadium heart swim, uh, obviously is super awesome. Last time we were there, you could see the glow to, to, to have action on a game. That you're looking out your hotel window oh, yeah. down to and watching I, that game, it's a it's I like will say, another ha- level. Having a hotel, felt like Biff Tannen. The hotel overlooking Stadium Swim is a nice oh, touch. Yeah. If you can, if you can just get roll those out rooms, of bed, just who, who highly, needs this? <laughs> highly recommend it. All right, what yeah, are we definitely. doing? Definitely. Last time we were out, we stayed at Circa, obviously, and uh, we had one of those rooms. And I just pulled up like one of the bar stools from inside the, but from inside the uh, room and just sat there at the window staring at she's my <laughs> wife's looking at me. I look back. I'm like, what's up? She's like, you're in full blown DJ mode right now. Aren't you? I'm like, it 100%. is awesome. It just, you feel like a kid <laughs> in a candy store. And again, that's, what's so awesome about circus sports and Derek. Cause he, he totally gets it and, and sets. It really is. I've said it a million times, but if Kramer and I had our own sports book and casino, it would be tough to change anything they did. Uh yeah yeah I mean maybe allow snorkels in the pool but that yeah. <laughs> I mean even even three to two blackjack right I, I agree I I do like, what, how do you say it I don't disagree look we even, got I I don't do we talk about the uh, <laughs> do we talk about the guy who wore that shirt that said I like. Uh, what did it his shirt said I like boobies and beer or something like that I, I like I, yeah maybe I, I there was a guy Vegas is generally there was a, a guy hanging out at the circa pool. <laughs> Uh, who was wearing a shirt that said like I like boobs and beer, and this chick came over to him with oh, an nice. amazing, <laughs> amazing rack, a strong and, presentation. Uh, took off her top and took a photo with that guy. So I'm not saying that will happen. Yeah. I'm just saying that has happened over there. It's so. a, it uh, where dreams are made. Dreams are dreams fulfilled. do come true. Well, right. our, our dream of drafting another best ball team about to come true. If you're in the chat, you can hop in. Obviously, right. use the promo code SGPN over at underdogfantasy.com. For uh, if you deposit 100, you get a hundred dollars free for free entries in Best Ball Mania Four. What more do you want? All right, so I'm gonna poke my head in. Ready? Yep, three, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh no, get out, get out, get out! I never jumped oh. in, Ryan. Yeah, I'm not in either. Oh. <laughs> are you? Are you auto drafting one? No, 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 <laughs> no. I have. I, Oh, I have been the I did too many slow drafts at the same time. I have a confession. Too many. <laughs> there is a point where you can have like 24 is too many. All right. Uh, oh, sh- uh, uh, Jake Paquin in the chat saying feeling a Jags oh, stack tonight. Oh, that's gross. Not gonna I, don't, I don't have a ton of Jags. What's wrong with that? Action. That it's just you're right. I probably am underweight on Trevor Lawrence, but strangely, I feel okay <coughs> about that. There is a little bit of gambling news. Uh, some you, suspensions. Well, Jags left tackle suspended, yeah. not for gambling. No, but we for cheating. Cam Robinson <coughs> PEDs, but we had kind of already seen that coming. Uh, Hold on, let me let's let's ch- let's check again. I'm entering three, two, one. All right, lots eight spots, seven, six. I'm five. in. Yep. Uh, I'm in. Nice. Uh, before I you hopped in there, Ryan, I was going to mention Titans offensive tackle. Uh, he's going to miss uh, Nicholas Petit Ferre uh, or Ferrari. I don't know how to pronounce it. Right. He's going to miss uh, six games for violating the NFL gambling policy. Do we have a policy here? If you're not gambling from the team facility, you will be suspended. <laughs> that is the SGPN policy. <laughs> so if any uh, NFL players want to work for SGPN, we got you covered. We encourage it. You actually get in trouble if you do it. I mean, I don't really feel that bad for these players. Like Calvin Ridley, <laughs> God says he was the sacrificial lamb. After that, it's like, guys, come on. Like, obviously, you can't bet on the NFL, 
maybe a little bit more sympathy for the people about like betting at the team facilities, but I'm sure they went over those rules. Like, come on. Uh, I I definitely think there is a certain element of people not thinking they could have could be caught. I think the other side of it is they just didn't they didn't listen. You you have you engaged with a kid? Yeah, recently, they don't listen. To I, shit. I listen. To the, I love the NFL, but come on, like some of these guys. <laughs> no, they they're not road to. scholars. You they're, can't allow this to happen because that's how people don't trust it. Yeah. That's how you become the NBA and your refereeing is a joke. Kramer, where are you at? I'm in the four spot. Four spot. Andrew Robb, I'm seeing you're in seven. I'm sitting here at the five spot. Who do you want at seven, Andrew? Um if Cup falls there by any chance, Ooh. I'll take Cup. I'd really like that. But if not, then it's gonna be Diggs or Brown for me. Um yeah, I I, I don't think I'm kind of off taking Kelsey so early. I, I think I just I like to put the uh, you know two or three tight ends together towards the latter half of the draft. Chase and Jefferson go. I, actually, uh, Jamar Chase first overall. I feel like every other draft it's been Jefferson. It really is. Generally, it is. Jack uh, Ryan see, is, a, is a name I recognize. I see cereal here. Uh, ketchup yep. stain is definitely somebody I've I've drafted with a bunch. Uh, cereals here in the sixth spot, and then. Fantasy Football Garage, who is uh, pretty active on Twitter with us, uh, he is in the 11 spot. Uh, Candyman. Oh, nice, Kramer. You're on the four uh, spot here. Cooper Cup just went. What do you do? Your boy Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, Christian McCaffrey, all available. You go Tyree Kill. Yeah, I think. I mean, he was my. I mean, tune into our top 10 list, and I know this isn't managed season long, but Tyree Kill was my number two receiver. So to get him at four, what a steal, Sean! What a steal! My number one running back. I just got Christian oh, McCaffrey look, in the five spot. Really, AJ Brown was available. AJ Brown goes. Stephon Diggs goes. I have plenty of AJ Brown. Don't worry, Ryan. Got it. Uh, and uh, Andrew takes Stephon Diggs. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Stephon Diggs not top ten receiver according to my list. Uh, I know. I know some people get fired up at list, but that's the lists are supposed to get you fired up. Are you worried about any sort of drama there in Buffalo, Andrew? Nah, I mean Diggs ain't going anywhere. Uh, he has it too good there. His target share is is phenomenal there. Unless something happens and they happen to land Hopkins or you know make some sort of splashy move, uh, you know Diggs is locked in for 150 plus targets probably. Trent Sherfield stealing his roles. <laughs> yeah, sure. Kelsey <laughs> goes. Uh, Kelsey goes in the 10 spot. I feel like that's pretty low for Kelsey, at least from what we've seen in these drafts. So I start. I've been doing a lot more of the uh, 125 FFPC tourney. Uh, Kelsey number one, a couple times. Yeah, I mean in, in just, FFPC it, where you're getting the one and a half point PPR. It, how I, can he not? I be? strangely I can do that in 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 regular season long and best ball for whatever reason it it is harder to pull the trigger on Kelsey. Really? Yeah. Not for me. I like Kelsey. Yeah, well, of course, but you can you can play the the revolver. The, you know, you get you get three three guys and just hope they spike in the right kind of uh, succession. I'm on Ross St. Brown, oh. Jalen Waddle, Devontae Adams. Miami's interesting in that it feels like every draft, their top two receivers go in the first and second round. Well, they performed that way last year. Yeah, Andrews back on the clock. You already got Stephon Diggs. What are you doing here? Oh, I mean, I have not taken a lot of Taylor, so that's interesting to take him. Um, I like Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, I think I'm choosing between a, a, one of the receivers here. Oh uh, boy, you know what? Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna take Chris Olave. He's a uh, much easier to stack than one of uh, Higgins or Smith. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can load up a ton of uh, New Orleans stuff with Olave. Who I like Olave. Cereals on the clock right in front of me. I don't know what he goes. Jalen hurts. Oh, he got he got AJ Brown. He oh, got wow. Jalen hurts. Oh, Sean, I'm second. sorry. I'm going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draft two running backs and then not draft any more running backs. I'm starting off with Christian McCaffrey and Jonathan Taylor. You guys, how do I not become a millionaire, Ryan? Uh, Tyree Kill, Saquon Barkley. Yes, please. But ba- Barkley is, is ridiculous. This is yes, ridiculous. Sir. You guys realize, Andrew? This, how many as soon as how many back, games does Barkley play? All of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, but barring injury, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I think he plays a full season as well. See, he's I think not. We'll, he's not even thinking about the tabloids. He's laser focused on his fucking. 
on his best ball uh, teams and his in his actual objective takes, not these subjective tabloid takes that that Sean, you come in <laughs> fucking doom scrolling in social media. <laughs> doom scrolling. Just addicted to Florio. <laughs> yes, I love Mike Florio. If you if you don't know, Sean's a huge. Florio oh, I'm a, guy. I'm a love Mike Florio. <laughs> Great guy. Can't get enough Florio takes. Uh, not to be uh, confused with Michael F. Florio of the NFL Network. Oh, well, that's true. He's he's a friend. Yeah. Not not like the other the other one. Fantasy Football Garage wanting to say, does Josh Jacobs hold out by his own account? He's fed oh, up. I will say, if, I, I, I'm not on Josh Jacobs, but I wasn't on Josh Jacobs last year, so I, I obviously I missed the boat. But the, the, there's also been a lot of stuff that's come out recently that's like, hmm. He might actually where Barkley not missing any games. Josh Jacobs one hundred percent is now signaling he might miss a game or two. Wow, Jack Ryan taking uh, Mark Andrews again. Someone did not crack my top ten list. Not must not be a listener uh, to the podcast. <laughs> wow, he would he should know better. Kramer, you're on the clock. Do you I, get a good quarterback in this draft, or you do, do you hold out for Daniel Jones again? What do you mean? I I I I've told you this. I'm taking too much of him. I'm not going to take him here. I I'm happy to, I'm happy to grab a, a Josh oh, Allen dropping wow. into the third Dang. round without, without digs. Yeah. So, um, you know, naked Josh Allen, maybe I think the, is Josh Allen playable naked. Yes. Is, is Dawson Knox 100% going to be on my team unless uh, Andrew takes him from me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm going full boomer. Whoa. Give me, give me Najee Harris. Oh Najee my God. Harris, Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey. Sean, I think it's all this college, these college pe- football episodes pe- we tape. People might be watching us for the first time. Well, tell, remind them that underdog fantasy is half point PPR. Touchdowns are how you win. And I just took Jonathan Taylor, mm. Najee Harris, and Christian McCaffrey, three motherfuckers who are gonna get some motherfucking touchdowns. Kramer, bell cows. Yes. Where's your moo? Come on, give us moo. the moo. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> moo. It's a shitty moo. <laughs> well, Car- you got Christian McCaffrey in there. It's hard to make him a. His, I feel like his moo would be more like moo. <laughs> All right, where are we at here? Uh, Debo goes. Josh Jacobs. Brees Hall. I don't want any part of Brees Hall. The uh, maybe I'm old fashioned. I just feel like the injury might take a little. I don't want a guy who's gonna be like working his way back in. I just don't. It's not, not I agree. my cup of tea. What about you, Andrew? What are you? Uh, what what kind of build are you working on here? Are you just that? I didn't snipe you, by the way, with Josh Allen. That was a number of picks he would have gotten taken. You're off to a good sure. start, though. Diggs, <laughs> Diggs, Olave, <laughs> right. DK Metcalf, stackable yes. options. Obviously, with uh, you can do Derek Carr, you can do Geno Smith. Or you can just put together your own sack. I mean, Justin Fields, Joe Burrow, Lamar. Oh, Justin Fields just got drafted over Lamar. Interesting. Uh, Lamar, Joe Burrow, Herbert, Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson, Tua, Anthony Richardson. Fields over Lamar is very spicy, in my opinion. Um, yeah, no, not in your uh, opinion. No, probably. I I have Fields uh, high. Ooh, Dick Gertzberger want to know about Tom Brady. Tom Brady. How often are we taking Tom Brady in the last round? <laughs> have I drafted Tom Brady yet? No, I have not. But it might feel better than drafting Jimmy G. <clears throat> now, who would you rather have right now? Jimmy G. Jimmy G or Trey Lance, right? Oh, I don't no one wants Trey Lance. Did you hear <laughs> what uh Schlereth had to say about him? No. Apparently, like just basically We gotta get Randy Cross. Basically on. He saying, some- hey, he's not uh, maybe not the athlete they thought he was gonna be. <laughs> Got some straight line speed, but that's about it. Jameer Gibbs goes to one Andrew Rob. That's, that's an excellent pick, Andrew. Are you worried about see, I like uh what worries me about Jameer Gibbs is David Montgomery mm. having like a you know, Jamal Williams type role where he snipes a bunch of touchdowns. Are you are you concerned about that? Yeah, that that is concerning. Um, but their plan for Jameer Gibbs, from what I've been hearing, is that they want to use the shit out of him between the twenties. And honestly, he's one of those guys that can break, you know, a few away. So I'm not concerned that he won't score touchdowns, but it is concerning that he's not going to really have a red zone role per se. Um, now we'll, you know, we'll see what happens through camp. You know, that that could change. But yeah, I mean, it's it, it's a little concerning. 
I uh, first receiver drafted in the fourth round. Give me DeAndre Hopkins. Ooh, Kramer, what's your uh, sniped me there? I was. What's uh, your what's our final position here for DeAndre Hopkins? What do you mean? Like where does he end up? It sounds like the well. It sounds the Patriots, like the Devonte Parker deal might have been a salary cap thing to then pay. I, I don't. I don't quite understand. Then, but then I was hearing uh, our boy Lombardi saying that he doesn't think the Patriots will pay. DeAndre Hopkins more than what Schuster uh, or Devonte Parker got, which I couldn't imagine. If DeAndre Hopkins, I don't think he's signing for that. Quite frankly, I, the Devonte Parker deal was was uh, alarming. So it'll be curious to see what actually shakes out uh, from that deal. I don't know. I mean, I think I think D Hop in the fourth is exactly right. Yeah, a lot of options too. Uh, Kramer, I thought, he, I thought he wanted to go to a winning franchise. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean McCorkle. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be psyched if I was DeAndre Hopkins get, catching passes from McCorkle. Although, step up from Kyler, maybe. Kramer, you're on the clock. What are you oh, doing? Yeah. I don't have a ton of DJ, DJ Moore. Moore. All right. Like him, quarterback <laughs> proof. Bad, b- good, bad ball catcher. So that's good because Fields is going to be hi- highly inaccurate. And I'm trying to avoid taking another running back for a little bit. Like, like, like right now, Kenneth Walker looks so sad. Like, if I was if I was building a boomer team like you, Sean, yeah, I would take Kenneth Walker, and I'm done with running back. I just uh, took my quarterback, Justin Herbert, oh, who wow. I'm not I'm not super uh, high whoop, on, whoop, 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 whoop. but I want to have a couple shares of Justin Herbert. It, it, it being best ball. Oh, I have a ton. And of my Justin boys, Herbert. my boys, Justin Field, and and you know. Uh, Jay Field and uh, Jay Hurts off the board, so I'm gonna get a little Herbert stack. All right, we got, uh, I'm a, I, I, and so I can take Donald Parham in the 18th round and seem super smart. Serial took David ahead, Pierce. Andrew. Love that. I'm, I'm over- not much of a not much of a Ken Walker guy. Um, mm. I, I actually think that he's going to uh, be kind of a bust that is ADP a little bit. I think Zach Charbonnet is is being slept on a little bit, especially for his role in on third down and. He was very good in college, uh, in in the red zone as well. Uh, I'm on the clock here. I'm gonna take Aaron Jones. Breaking I news: just, uh, Andrew likes a rookie. Mm, <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> I I don't. I mean, if you look at Kenneth Walker's numbers last year, he was actually kind of in- inefficient. He had a bunch of long runs, which is great, but I mean, th- those kind of skew the numbers a little bit. So I think that he's just kind of going a little bit higher than he really should. And I I believe in Zach Charbonnet a little bit more. I mean, a lot of people had him as top five running back coming in you know, this year, if not a top three guy. And I think Seattle picked him for a reason. Um, I think they realized that Ken Walker is probably not the guy that they want to have with the goal line. So, I mean, picture Zach Charbonnet kind of doing a half ass Jamal Williams. I mean, I, I, I take that all day, uh, you know, a couple of rounds later. It's fair. That, that being said, I do think end of the fifth round, Kenneth Walker is at some point, like they're, they're, they're now what a couple round. When will Charbonnet go? In the eighth. Uh let's see. Charbonnet is yeah, so he's pick one oh one currently right now. So yeah, that's gonna put us into round nine. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I mean, I, I certainly think Pete Carroll saw the dog in him last year. <laughs> and I don't know if he's gonna be willing to just just hand the dog over to a guy who played <laughs> in the in front of the wine and cheese crowd out in the out at the Rose Bowl. Not trying, you know, not trying to be hot. Spicy. Yeah, I do like Kenneth Walker for best ball because he's still like the knock against Kenneth Walker is that all he does is have 80 yard touchdowns, but isn't that kind of what you want for best ball? I, I think the case against Kenneth Walker is stronger in a managed league, if mm. I'm okay, yeah. <clears throat> but to but to Andrew's point, like he's being drafted pretty high and Charbonnet is good, so yeah, you're it's you're tightening your window there for sure. But I, I I still won the little Ken. Walker. I, I I am appreciating. I've been in a lot more drafts lately where Lockett is going ahead of uh, Jackson Smith and Jigbo, which is probably more accurate. What's uh g- give me the uh give me the Mike Evans take, Andrew. So uh, up to this point, I've been drafting Godwin just because I think that he's going to get more opportunities. But uh, I was just listening to uh, a recent established the run podcast and they were talking about Mike Evans and they kind of sold me on a little bit for best ball purposes is that, you know, Godwin's going to get more opportunities. Most likely Uh, he probably runs the routes a little better that Trask and Baker are going to excel more at, but 
Mike Evans is a guy that really it only takes one play for him to go 80 yards for a touchdown down the field, right? If they can break one loose, you know, that that's what you want in best ball, right? Like, as you're saying with Kenneth Walker, I, I don't, I believe that with Ken Walker, but also I think the numbers are a little skewed for him, but if, you know, Mike Evans, we've seen it year over year over year. And I know the quarterback situation is awful there, but truly, I mean, if it's Baker, he's going to want to throw the ball downfield anyway. So I, I think that Mike Evans, it's an interesting case where he's going. Cause I mean, do we really think he's going to finish as what's he going wide receiver? Like 39 or, or he, was that he's, 36? He's going quite late in underdog. I noticed he's going even later in FFPC. I, I, I know the boomer FFPC crowd would be into Mike Evans. No, Mike Williams and Mike Evans are going later there for hmm. some reason. Oh, someone took Gabe Davis from me. Someone, uh, someone also took Michael Pittman. I kind of had my eye on him, aka wow. Andrew. Uh, stole him, wow. but I, while you guys were talking about um, Mike Evans, I snagged him. Second, second receiver, Mister Consistency. Like he just gets you a thousand yards. Obviously, not as good with Trash or uh, Baker uh, there, but. I mean, he's still Mike Evans. Like, I, I think he's going to be pretty interesting near the goal line. Who would who would be their goal line back? Like, yeah, I, th- I think it's just Rashad White, right? Like, he's just he's <laughs> but just Rashad gonna do White. I don't think has the size to to pound the rock near the goal line. I think they're just gonna. I wouldn't be shocked if it's a bunch of those one yard uh, passes to um, Mike Evans or Kate Otten gets like six touchdowns randomly. Mike Evans, actually, because I did write about him in a bust article uh, about a month ago. Uh, he's actually awful in the red zone. His uh, his his target percentage really? to actually catch percentage is is very bad. So if he can improve on that, then yeah, I mean it would be you know. So great. what's his he deal? He just it's just because he gets a bunch of volume. Yeah, no, I didn't go, like dig into like off target percentage, like how yeah. how bad were the throws coming to him? But um, he he did not secure a lot of touchdown catches uh, from within like the five yard line. So it's I don't know. I will say, so what I've been able to do in a lot of these drafts is you can pair Mike Evans with Rashad white and then throw in like Shahid, which, yeah. which is the week 17. Of course, I'm sure Andrew's got it all memorized <laughs> in the beautiful, beautiful circa schedule grid <laughs> that I still don't have. Yeah. I'm jealous. It's getting cranky. Mine's not even fucking laminated. I just drafted a uh, Quentin Johnson. Oh yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about Quentin Johnson, <sighs> but as a guy who has Justin Herbert, I, I needed a good stack and I'll take a shot on Quentin Johnson. I just have, hope that I mean, Keenan, Keenan Allen or Mike Williams, what are the odds? Both them stay healthy. I love the idea of building some Herbert, like where Herbert, all his receivers, no Eckler, just Herbert, all his receivers. Uh, but I think in those builds, that's, I'm definitely going like, you're you're drafting him because someone's getting hurt, I guess. So maybe you don't pair him with the, with both of them. You go Williams. Johnson or, or uh, Keenan Allen, Johnson, Johnston. I, I, I don't, I don't know how to feel about him because I don't think he's going to be the best receiver as a rookie, but he might be in the best situation. That that would be my take. What'd you draft here? Andrew? I took Trevor Lawrence, oh. no stack, no stack, mm. but he <laughs> was 13 picks past ADP. I mean, I didn't oh, look at you. I, I didn't have a quarterback. That's a nice value oh, oh, for him. Oh, I could oh, potentially oh. get Zay Jones or Evan Ingram yet. So I was going to take Dotson, but I just couldn't pass up on the value. Look of, at that uh, hound dog <laughs> value. Hawk. <laughs> oh, we need a Hawk sound effect. All right. I see Canarius Tony slipping a little bit. You hate to see it. This Ryan, I saw you stole uh, George Pickens from me. I did take George <clears throat> Pickens. He's my fourth receiver. No big deal. I again, I was yeah. trying to, I was trying to go like team with a lot of alphas. I, I've so far we're in the eighth round. I've still only taken alphas. Josh Allen, Saquon Barkley, Tyree Kill, Mike Williams, mm-hmm. DJ Moore, George Pickens, Darren Waller. Alpha, alpha, motherfucking alpha. Andrew, who's the guy that you're drafting more? Serial, serial, talking a bunch of ch- uh, ah. shit in the chat, saying, "Of course, Kramer grabs Darren Waller. What a reach!" What do you mean? Uh, in the f- take taking a number one receiver in the seventh <laughs> round. Okay, that, if that's a reach, I'll. I'm I'll just visualizing stretching that mustache out my hamstrings right now. What, what do you mean? Andrew's on my side. He knows who who's gonna oh, win the bet. I yes, I I am on the Waller side of that. Sorry, Sean. There's just less competition in New York. That's a that's a you know yeah. it's a, not a place a that breeds thing to say. Oh wow, I mean it's very yeah. <laughs> uh, AJ Brown and Devonta Smith are just such elite pass catchers. 
They That's are. True. I mean, yeah. compared it's, to it's unbelievable. Compared to Darren Waller. Wow. Well, you don't the think good AJ, thing the bet the good thing the bets against and uh, Dallas, Dallas got Goddard. Our third option is better than your first option. Some some piece of shit from South Dakota. Right. How dare you mm. insult the Dakotas? Uh, Andrew's no. on the clock. Don't mess him I'm up sorry. with your bullshit. We're talking the worst. Uh, man, you know what? I'm gonna get squirrely. Uh, I'm, I'm worried that Jameer Gibbs won't get all the touchdowns, so let's just secure yeah, it and take yeah. Montgomery. So, <laughs> is that all right? Uh, uh, what what teams are you willing to do that with? Um, so obviously Detroit. Uh, I would do it with Kansas City as well with Pacheco and McKinnon. I think that that's all right to do. Um, I guess I I would do it with Seattle. I, I I do think there's value in Ken Walker. I just like Charbonnet where he's going better. Um, man, that's a good question. There's like there's not too too many. Um, I guess the Packers because I don't think they're going to throw the ball as much. I find value in both a- Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon. But there's really not too many teams I would really want to do that on. Um, the Niners as well because I do think CMC is obviously not uh the epitome of uh injury proof. So um. Yeah, I I would do it him and Elijah Mitchell. Washington, of course, you know, great great ground and pound game. <laughs> I actually think Washington is a fringe team for that. I would, but I I would say for me it's it's Miami too. I could see myself ending up with two Miami. See, guys. I don't want to take any Miami right now because if Cook goes there, the ADP on the other guys are going to fall. I'm just waiting until that happens, and then I'll start grabbing some of those guys. It's a valid way to play it. Yeah, I, I I've definitely done McCaffrey and Mitchell. I've definitely taken. I do have one team where I took a uh, took uh, like Rashad Penny and Kenny Gainwell or something like that. I mean the Eagles too, yeah. But yeah. it's like which two do you take? You don't want to take all three. That's well, that's too I, many. I'm not. T- I'm, I, give me the cheaper guys. Uh, it, generally, right. with this kind of thing, it's like give me the cheaper guys. Uh, the the only real premium one, I, I I guess like Detroit's a more premium one, but that one makes a lot of sense based on how they played last year, and Montgomery mm-hmm. is falling in, like in a ridiculous way. You Kramer, can tell. T- talk. What's up? Talk me out of talk me out of Eric Gray. Uh, I took him in Dynasty, and I've taken him in a couple of best ball drafts as well. A- a- am I crazy well, for that? If I mean, if oh this this this, uh, this some ketchup stain, you fucking. See now you forced my hand. Now you <laughs> you're gonna force me to take my to, to just quietly stack up the New York Giants underneath Josh What's Allen. What's that? Eighty percent exposure now, roughly. Uh, it is it is at seventy five percent right now. <laughs> but a lot of times he's the second guy. Uh, in fairness, and uh, I do Kramer, have you, never Saquon and Waller, so that that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. How I just snuck the whole draft room, and y'all knew I was gonna do it. I still did it. How much have you drafted Anthony Richardson? Me. Either one. Open question for the floor. Yeah, pretty decent. I I got him again uh, this time. Anthony Richardson, Herbert. Yeah, I I, uh, I, I, lo- I like him. I think I've drafted him maybe like four or five times out of the forty five draft I've done. Yeah, I have a couple shares, but it's not much. I, I took him a lot where he was being undrafted in the rookie and sophomores draft that uh, Underdog mm, had. You know, before the bad. actual draft happened, I took him a ton in there that I feel really good about now. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, the rookie for sophomore format's fun. We were talking before the show about the weekly winners format, a new format. Yes. Which obviously we're gonna, I'm gonna fire. We'll probably maybe we'll do a stream or two with firing off at those. But I mean, I think just random thoughts about it. We were we were kind of discussing. It's just like push your chips all in. Definitely don't play a safe lineup. Go all in, Ryan. Stack the buy. You know what I'm going all in. On my bird dog shorts. Oh wow, me too. I'm wearing them right now, dude. I, I think I've worn these bird dog shorts no less than a like month. 16 days in a row. It is just, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, it's one of these things you feel like an idiot for not having these pair of shorts uh, earlier. Just they're so comfortable. The anti stink sweat wicking fabric, cool and dry all day long. We're gonna be going to that fantasy football expo in August. I mean, that I don't is be just stinky for those people that I mean, come on. That is just uh, that's like Vietnam for your nutsack. It's oh, just hot, wow. humid, sticky. Your normal stupid boxers would be clinging to you. You're getting all clumped up while you're walking around talking about ADP. No yeah. bird dogs is here to save Dog. the day. Keeping you cool. Keeping you smooth. Keeping you stylish for the one to two women that may be at the expo. Oh, yeah. it, I, these, it really is one of the greatest things. I, 
you think like, Hey, what can you do to make shorts better? Pretty basic uh, operation there. No, they've outdone themselves. They it's really, it's rare to be able to upgrade a great invention like shorts, but bird dogs have done it. Nice. Bird dogs.com slash pool enter promo code pool. Get the free Yeti style tumbler with your order. The bird dogs.com slash pool. You won't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you that is a promise I live by Kramer. What are you doing? What'd you just draft? Uh, what did I just draft? Or uh, you're drafting after me. Andrew's yeah. on the clock. Yes. Damn it. Oh, 10 seconds. Ding, ding. Yeah. Ding. Got a couple of ways I want. Uh, you know what? I need some more wide receivers. I'll just take the stack. Zay Jones. <clears throat> he seems to be slipping, continuing to slip and slip and slip. I'm on the clock going Romeo dubs. Mm. I, I know some people are down on it, but I like it, man. Have you seen the, uh, the latest Iggy about him is that he's taken over a leadership role that he's, he's going to be the guy he's got. I think, I think compa- I'd rather have him <laughs> than Christian Watson, especially if you factor in the price, he's going to be the guy. Oh man. Taking a second Chicago wide receiver here. Man, look at these wide receivers going. Just well, no wide receivers in the first. What was that? Thirteen picks. It's crazy. Kramer goes Darnell Mooney. Pair him with more. <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll do some sort of uh. Yeah, I mean, actually, oh no, now I'm blanking his name. Someone, there's an Atlanta receiver. I, I let me find his. Matt name. Collins. No. <laughs> I mean, he's obviously there. Is it? Ali, Josh Ali, maybe. I was going deep. Also, but I mean, I I don't want to. I I don't want to. Oh, and Damian Harris goes. I thought about taking him there to stack with Josh Allen. I just, I I I think I figured out the way to stack Josh Allen. Do I get a third quarterback? I got Anthony Richardson and Justin Herbert, but do I get a third? (laughs) All right. I think we just continue to stack receivers, right? Where am I running back? You know what? Not prepared for this pick, but I'm just going to take Elijah Mitchell. We discussed it earlier. Seems crazy. He's going this late. His, this is right where his ADP is, which I don't know. Feels like he's going to have some games where he scores. Greg Dolchich. Oh no. Bring back Man. for Buying my into Sean Payton. Bring in, uh, bring back for my Chargers stack. Nice. Over nice. Chig. Well, yeah, again, you know it's it's because of the stack. Obviously, I That's I true. love Chig. I thought true. you were a best pl- but just draft good players guy. Now you're uh, you're a correlation. I'm, I'm mixing up a little bit for this draft. Nice. Obviously, I think just ceiling Chig's better. Man, I didn't really want to take Gino. I was hoping somebody would, so I could just take Derek Carr later. But the value again, fifteen picks, Pat, or was that fourteen picks? Oh, look yeah. at you! I'm gonna go ahead and take Gino. He's cereal took a chig. He's touting a Gino Smith pick. You, see, <laughs> you hear this? Not- Be, get prepared to write back. Yeah, Gino, seriously. what did you do to me? <laughs> we coming. Oh, I love I love this part of the draft. There's so many guys that I love so much. I just every time I click them, Kendra, every time. Kendra Miller, where are we at, uh, Andrew? Um, I, I've fallen off on him a little bit. Um, I do think there's a little bit more value with Jamal Williams. But with that said, I do think he plays the Alvin Kamara role while Alvin Kamara is suspended for however long. Probably I I assume six games is what I'm in my head thinking. Um, but yeah, I mean I I think it's fine if he really perf. Uh, the case for him being still involved when Kamara comes back is that he shows that he's really good. If that happens, then I think Kamara and him kind of split a workload with Jamal Williams taking the goal line work. So it it, it really it's going to depend on what he can do in those games that Kamara is suspended. So I, I think it's still a fine pick. Uh, there's just you know there, there's an possibility that he really doesn't. He kind of gets faded out after about week six. My take is Alvin Kamara is not getting suspended. Mm. Spicy. I, I mean, I've I've done more than just like Reddit deep diving, and it does seem like there's a very good chance he doesn't get suspended now. Ever or this year? No, nah, like not this year. Gotcha. 
which would be crazy if it pushed out another season. But it also sounds like there there there's a chance that there, the suspension is is small too. Like this this locked in six game suspension that everyone's assuming I think is not is definitely not like a done deal. Even with the video surfacing of him, you know, Dude, I, the hell out of that guy. I know, I know, it's crazy. I mean, I'm not I'm not a lawyer, so don't take my uh, my legal advice, but in case you were Damn. wondering, I'm not a lawyer. Kramer's a lawyer. Everything uh, no, he no, said no, is binding. No, legal no, advice. no, absolutely not a lawyer. Not a lawyer. <laughs> Can he pick it available, Kramer? Uh, you know, I almost I there was a point where I was like, well, I could grab Fryermuth, come back with Pickett later. I do think Pickett and and I've built some teams where I have Pickett, Stafford, and Russell Wilson. Where I take them all right around now, like 13, 14, 12, 13, 14. Some so one of these guys like like Russ going this late is probably gonna look silly, right? Are we? Am I falling back in love with Russ? <laughs> well, you got Dolchich, you understand. You can actually pair Herbert with his stacks and Russ with his stacks pretty nicely, and then have yes. a complete um, week seventeen correlated game. Well, Russ is gone yes. already. I'm I don't I'm not trying to burst anyone's bubble. I'm gonna roll the dice with Alec Pierce here. Nice. So I got Alec Pierce, Anthony Richardson, and Jonathan Taylor. A little stack, stack McGillicuddy. Could, could, stack, could stack. get Jelani Woods too late. We'll see. Yeah, so good bring back here. Also just like him. Buying into the that. Disrespect rant. of Puka Nakua. Oh no. He he's <laughs> also in the queue. Do you uh, got uh, yes, yes, do you got Matt is. Stafford yet, Ryan? No, no. Stafford got drafted already, which really is, feels a that. little early. Um, but yeah, Serial took him a little bit before uh, ADP there. I think like fourteen picks. I mean, that, I would rather have Matt Stafford than Jordan Love. Yeah, which like, yes. they have similar ADP. It, I've never, I've never drafted Jordan Love, which I have to change that. I think, maybe not. I, but I've never. It's how, he's going. Wait, he's why is he not going at the same time as Sam Darnold? It's a good question. Sam Darnold's better than him. Sam Darnold scores. Andrew, more for what's the uh, what's the least amount of running backs you can get by with? Three. Uh, um, I think if you know four, the way you did it, you know, yeah. like like the way that that you drafted your running backs, four. I prefer to not leave the draft with less than five personally. Um, but I think four is probably your bare minimum. You know, uh, number of running backs. Especially if they all have different bye weeks. Check. And if you're thinking of taking Roshan Johnson, I think that's a good pick. Oh, I Kramer stole my guy, Tyler Algier. It's all right. Marvin Mims loading. Hmm. He was the guy who was the bait my Denver pile. Stack him with um, Mike Williams. All right, I feel good about that. I know you like Roshan Johnson. I, I'm still kind of a Khalil Herbert guy. We'll see. Well, you hate like, rookies, huh? <laughs> Roshan Johnson. Well, I hate him. I the, don't love him. The though. training camp Iggy is that he really he, he his which I don't know how you show this in OTAs or whatever, but apparently his uh, his pass blocking it looks good, which completely contradicted by some other report I read. But I get it. I think I think the Bears running back situation ends up being one that frustrates everyone that owns everyone. That makes sense. I could see it just being like a real close. Like they're just going to run the ball a lot, but it's <clears throat> there's not going to be a ton of consistency and no one's going to get more than 12 carries a game, including fields. Doesn't sound completely off. Sounds right on. Except your part where you're shitting on Justin Fields. That doesn't Well, no, I, I no, I'm just saying 12 carries. Under 12 carries per game is what I'm saying. Pay attention. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See how mean Ryan is, Andrew? <laughs> Pay attention. I don't have to work with this guy. <laughs> oh, Stephanie Miller coming in. Uh, what's happening? Ooh. Came to came came to check this out. What's happening, Stephanie? Love me some Mims. Maybe she's a uh, Broncos fan. Or, or I mean, she could be a Denzel Mims fan. Doesn't sure. have to be Marvin. We won't tell her Colby's take on o Oklahoma receivers. Well, come on. I just drafted Marvin Mims. That's probably what yeah. she's referring to. Who's your uh and and chat well, all the chat, feel free to answer. Who's your big sleeper this year? 
This is feels like sleeper season. I got to start oh. keeping an eye on sleeper. Taysom Hill just oh. got drafted. That's super fun in best ball. Great way to stack Rashad White too. Week seventeen. Great way. What is Rashad White and Taysom Hill? Oh, it's week seventeen. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're talking correlation. It's all that matters. They say. <laughs> they say winning's all that matters. Like you're a you're a Commanders fan. Uh, you'd be proud on Veasan last night. I did call him the football team. Did, did, <laughs> did oh they? wait, Ryan Stephanie is a Cowboys fan. Oh, oh what? no, Stephanie. Oh no. I mean, we got Eagles, Reds, oh, uh, wow. Redskins, and Giants all here. Well, maybe she's talking Oklahoma, can, Oklahoma State. Maybe Cowboys? she's maybe she's hanging out with cereal in the chat. Oh, <laughs> cereal's bringing friends. That's cool. Easy. I got no beef with easy that. Easy pointing out uh, to Stephanie. You should keep that info quiet around here. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> well, she's she's she must be bummed out about uh, about losing Zeke. We, I mean, you got to put your cowboy star on. Yeah, maybe That's Stephanie how it is around Maybe here. Stephanie wear. has some belly shirts in honor of Zeke. Oh wow, where does Zeke end up, Ryan? Uh, I I think the Cowboys or nowhere. <laughs> maybe he'd have to swallow his pride to go back there. I, where well, else that's his, that's his problem, Andrew. I think he swallowed <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> too much it's of a that fat soup. person joke. Too much. Oh wow, no fat shaming. We don't fat shame. You can fat program. shame professional athletes because it's literally their job not to be fat. That is true, but then they are fat. Like Shaq was <laughs> fat his whole career. I still feel bad for Zion. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know when the when that girl said you got soda everywhere. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> he's uh, just a fat guy. guy thing. He just loves. Yeah, <laughs> he's just a fat, fat guy. guys hate cardio. Andrew just drafted a uh, Taekwon Thornton, New England guy. Like I don't mind that pick. I he's got he's fun for best. Yep, for he sure. would have been a nice bring back for my naked Josh Allen. Hmm. I say I'm bringing him back for all the Buffalo uh, Bills I have. I see you're taking all the bills. Zeke's ADP one seventy five. Good lord. Well, who's drafting him? Not me. I just drafted Kenny Gainwell, last running back for me. What's the deal with Curtis Samuel, Andrew? Uh, so I, I, I've had other people ask me the same thing and I tell, you know, tell them that I think it's really one of him or Gibson is going to be the odd man out. Cause they do a lot of the same shit. Uh, interesting. Now Curtis Samuel is interesting because he's, he's a guy that can go downfield and, you know, catch a nice ball. But I just, I worry that, you know, EB is going to want to gimmick him a little bit more than, than what they have been. And that's kind of what Gibson's, you know, issues. So I, I think one of them is going to be the odd man out. I still think it's it's a viable option to take Curtis Samuel. I mean, especially if Dotson or McLaurin happen to get injured, uh, you know, Curtis Samuel's ceiling is is pretty high at that point. But I do think that you know Samuel and Gibson are going to kind of eat into each other's workload. So you like Samuel more than Tiami Brown? Yes. Yeah, I mean, Curtis Samuel is probably going to get triple the opportunities, if not more. He just seems like a guy that uh, Rivera trusts too. Stephanie pointing out uh, if Zeke doesn't sign Malik Davis as a sleeper, I, I, no, of I, course. I like that because again, Tony Pollard coming back from that injury, it is far from a sure thing that he is going to be completely healthy and in that system. And even if he isn't, there's a world where Malik Davis gets some work from the run happy uh, Mike McCarthy Kramer. Do you mind scrolling down the draft board for the good folks? On the YouTube, youtube.com slash sports game on podcast. Of course, Smash! that subscribe button. Oh, one of the Ferraris just left the garage. Isaiah Hodgins goes here. Ryan, you worried? Are you going to get any Jalen Hyatt? No. Oh. I, I mean, I have a little bit. It, it is, I think, Hyatt, I'll pick up closer to the season once people realize where he is in the depth chart. <laughs> I just think he's not. He, if, if, so the 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 talk is that Robinson and or Shepard, one of them's going to find their way onto the pup or injured list. But even then, it, it's it's hard to see Hyatt as anything more than a backup. So maybe they get him some reps. Maybe he has a great spring or a summer. I'm rooting for it. I just don't like. There's no way he should have the lowest ADP. Um, Hodgins will have a lot of snaps. Harris Campbell will start the season. Him or Shepard or R- Wendell will start with a lot of snaps and Slayton. I just took uh, I don't, J- like it. It wasn't news and it didn't make your tabloids, but <laughs> Slayton is on the team because of Dan Jones. DJ got his guy back on the team, so I, I do think there is something to that. Even though you can you can highlight all the things that D- Darius Slayton does suboptimally, 
has the trust as does Hodgins or he's an Oregon state beaver too. Shout out to the, uh, the school that brings a chainsaw to the sideline. Hodgins is the, is the giants receiver. I, I prefer as well. Um, I'm way overweight in the big board. Uh, I drafted a ton of Hodgins in the big board, but uh, yeah, I think that he just, he has the most touchdown upside in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I certainly think, well, that's the thing. Like I, I also think the offense is going to look different than it did last year. So a lot of the stuff that he was getting last year, I think could become Darren Waller stuff. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how much we see. The, the other thing is they really like how Hodgin blocks. So he stays on the field a lot. And I, I do think that, Oh, Khalil Shakir goes interesting. I mean, again, if I'm handicapping this race, I certainly like what's really going to throw a wrench in it is if Sterling Shepard is healthy, go back and look at what Sterling Shepard did in a little, little bit of the early part of the season last year where they weren't even passing. Well, I, I know uh, he's not quite a Ferrari anymore, but he's a sweet ass Mustang Dang. when he's healthy, when he can stay healthy, rev those engines, gentlemen, Paris Campbell goes. Okay. Serial wanted to know what his draft grade was. Gave him an A plus. I mean, he's got. Uh, I'll look at his team at the end. He's got I, Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, Damian Pierce, test is not DeAndre complete. Swift, Chigozimo Conquo. Test is not just complete. give him the million dollars right now. So Cordell Patterson got drafted earlier. Uh, there are reports that he is going. He's quote lining up everywhere. Uh, it sounds like Bijan, top ten player in the NFL. Sounds like what Bij- as a distraction. <laughs> Bijan is going. Like he's going to be Bijan. Atlanta is going to be such a disaster. Oh. Such Do we disaster. need a secondary bet on the Falcons? They have like the fourth easiest schedule in the in the NFL. I think that I mean people are sleeping on. I know wow. Kramer and my Falcons people are, are going sleeping to show on people. Literally, oh, every, everyone listen to me. Every tout the on the internet no, is on at the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, <laughs> I got Josh Palmer. I think he's going. I understand they brought in Quentin Johnson, but who I also drafted. But man, I think they could. Uh, they're interesting. The idea that Mike Williams and Keenan Allen are going to stay healthy for an entire season to me is just not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, do you like Palmer more than taking a late flyer on someone uh, like a tight end? Oh, I'm also going to get Donald Palmer. Okay. <laughs> he, ha- I mean, he did show up. I there was a great. Rep- uh, I forget who who's the ESPN guy. I should know his name. He he does good work. Anyway, he had the thir- thirty two uh, one thing for each team. And Parham made the list for the Chargers, and so always exciting to see our guy stepping up and showing out. All right, so do I take uh, Michael Mayer? How many receivers do I have? Eight. I oh, know that's never mind. I don't want him. <clears throat> so I think is now where I take Puka. So I have a double bring back with Van Jefferson Damn, and right. Puka. And then do I go with a 10 receiver build or a fifth running back? Probably should be a fifth running back. How many tight ends do you have? Two. Which Knox two? and Waller. Just stacks. Very thin. Very thin. No, that's fine. Draft uh, you have to draft like you're Dude. correct. That's what they say. Hmm. JR in the YouTube chat saying great content and great channel. Thank you. Oh wow. JR. Appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe button. Toss us a thumbs up on the uh, YouTube page. Of course, turn auto downloads on. Toss us a nice rating review over an Apple Podcast. Always appreciate that. Stephanie are uh, advocating for a fifth running back. Those two yep. tight ends are fine. Luke Musgrave oh, well, thought he Stephanie was a country so. singer. I'm with you, Easy. Uh, it does sound like a very country name, but I like Luke Musgrave. I know normally I'm I'm pushing people away from rookie tight ends. Luke Musgrave is the exception in my mind. There are still some draftable running backs in my mind. Who do you got on that list, Ryan? I I, I don't I kind of don't want to talk about it. Zeke, <laughs> Pierre no, Strong, I, I Kareem would, Hunt. I would never draft Zeke. Israel. Abankanda, I might have to draft him. Abankanda. Do I take him or Donald Parham for my last? Oh, pick? definitely Parham. <clears throat> definitely correlate, bro. Yeah, for the stack. Definitely correlate. Israel's fun though. Kramer, what's up with Wandale? Uh, well, I, I think, I think he's the one that he's coming off an injury. I, I think. 
they really like they that was a that was their first kind of pick, like big statement pick. There's he was a second rounder. They obviously like he was the only hundred yard game for the Giants last year. It was the game he got hurt. He had like that huge seven catch, hundred and something yards and a touchdown, I believe. They want to be able to scheme that type of player up. They have a lot of guys now, and he's probably starting hurt. So I think you kind of throw him into a bucket with I want to have some of him because at the end of the year he could be fire. Like he's the guy that he's not he might not contribute the first six weeks as he's on the pup. But then he comes back and he's a big part of the offense. Yeah. He's tricky. He, yeah. I would say him and Shepard need need to like the injury fl- like Shepard needs to play until week six and then get hurt so Wandell can come back. They're they're gonna be interchangeable, I think. And Paris Campbell probably in that same Paris Paris Campbell that actually sounds like they want to play everywhere, everywhere. So we'll see. He could be the X factor. There goes Darius Slayton. I don't think I could fit him on this build. I already have a double stack for Dan. Sam Hal goes 18th round. How do you feel as a commanders fan? Fantastic pick. Probably <laughs> might be the best pick of the draft. I mean, honestly, I mean, he's <laughs> Q, I QB he, 12 loading. I guess you are getting a starting quarterback in round 18. Allegedly. We'll see after, a, after oh. Andrew picks, I'll have him tell me who Andrew, he are you getting a Jacoby Brissett commanders Jersey? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. No, I, I think the next jersey for real is Dotson. I mean, yeah. one he is shout out Penn State. Come on. Yeah. I mean dog. It's hard to hit on him. So, yeah. He's a if he stays healthy. I remember he how did a I, lot of stuff right. Ricky. I remember how I felt when uh, David Wilson got drafted to the New York football giants and then immediately went into Tom Coughlin's doghouse. And wow, what well, could have been? Neck injury. So I I understand you should already have a Dotson jersey, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I tried to trade in the the, the Chase Young one, but they said no, nah, we don't want that shit. <laughs> They're also over kidding. Chase Young. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to bring that to the fantasy football expo just to get you to sign it, so I can just enshrine it on my wall of uh, <laughs> terrible. I, I I'm the fa- I'm the uh, NFL jersey hitman. Every jersey I've had, the player just either gets death. hurt the following year or leaves the team. So. Here's my yeah. uh, here's my uh, I get, did let me my finish f- this out with sure. a little uh, maybe maybe Zemir Jacobs White. does hold out. Okay, I, I know like that, that he he's not necessarily the clear backup right now. They got Brandon Bolden and Amir Abdul. Those guys are all pass catchers. I think if 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 anyone's going to be getting the bulk of the carries, it is going to be Zemir White. Our lads doing some dirty work putting Zemir White in the four spot. Uh, but yeah, I, I think. Uh, it's obviously a a Belichickian style of offense, and maybe they're just gonna fuck about with the running back. But we saw it last year; they didn't fuck about. And Josh Jacobs was a bell cow, and Zamir White was a sexy pick last year, and he didn't do anything, so people forgot about him. Yep. Anyway, yeah, I like that. My roster: I got Justin Herbert, Anthony Richardson, Christian McCaffrey, Jonathan Taylor, Najee Harris, Kenny Gainwell. Receivers: DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Evans, Quentin Johnson, Alan Lazard, Romeo Dubs, Alec Pierce, Marvin Mims, John Mechie, Josh Palmer, and the tight ends of Greg Dolchich, Jelani Woods, Donald Parham. Kramer, how say you? Well, I accidentally drafted uh, Dan Jones again to go with Josh Allen, and then we have <laughs> Saquon Barkley, Rashad White, Elijah Mitchell, Tyler Algier, Zamir White. Tyree Kill, Mike Williams, DJ Moore, George Pickens, Darnell Mooney, Van Jefferson, Curtis Samuel, Trent Sherfield, Puka Nakua, Darren Waller, Dawson Knox. Pretty beautiful build. If I'm gonna compliment myself on anything, that that was a well done execution. The only problem I didn't I didn't I don't have any Colts to stack with Zamir White. A minus. A plus for me. Andrew, what do you got for your team? So the value quarterback room here of Trevor Lawrence mm. and Geno Smith, That's running say, backs, I don't hate it. <laughs> running backs, Jameer Gibbs, Aaron Jones, David Montgomery, Devin Singletary, Tajay Spears, and Big Gus Edwards. Wide receivers: Steph Diggs, Chris Olave, DK Metcalf, Michael Pittman, Zay Jones, Tyquan Thornton, and Michael the Touchdown Wilson. Tight ends: Evan Ingram, Dalton Kincaid, and Sam Laporta. Are we? Does any? Did anyone request a judgment from the the one of the uh, world class endurance athletes here? 
<laughs> the cereal. Let's oh, see. breaking news though. We have. I, oh, I hate cereals team. He drafted four straight running backs in the middle of the draft. That's horrible. Breaking news: Ezekiel Elliott was not drafted. So not, not drafted. Oh, well done, everyone. Thank you guys. Shout out to the group. So, uh, Andrew. Andrew Stephanie Miller must be a big fan of yours. She said Andrew wins. Oh, what? <laughs> what is the what is the point total? What's the point that? total? Uh, I, yeah. I mean, come on, man. This is like the who line is it anyway? The points don't matter. Yeah, I know. Mm. I know. We still Kramer like just look. wants to hold on to something. I, what do you mean? <laughs> what, have, <laughs> uh, have you fired a Dalmatian yet? I've Andrew? not. No. I've done a couple. I should. They're fun. Yeah, they're fun. All right, so projected points for the draft we just did. How do I see? How do I see the fucking whole thing? Here, I'll I'll read it to you if you if you oh, don't know how to get there. Jeez, I, I don't. Kramer has twenty eight twenty. Oh nice. Sean twenty three eighty. Nice. <laughs> Wait, did you read that backwards? Uh, it's not. And, it's not uh, twenty eight oh, thirty. Right? My best teams were the ones that got the lowest from this fucking jabron. Oh, this AI. Machine. This piece yeah, right. of shit. Why don't you just let? Why don't you just put the chip in your brain and let it draft for you? That's fine. <laughs> sorry. I wish. So, I could. Sorry, fantasy football community. I have a brain. I like to use it. I've, I've already gut. done that. I've already done that. What? What's your score? Uh, twenty six sixty two. Oh, so I won. So uh, Stephanie's incorrect. Oh, you won. <laughs> I won. Um, I'll be collecting the money from this league. All right. So no one needs judgment. I don't know. I don't uh, like cer cereals. Team I don't is, think so. is not very good. He did correlate. So that's okay. But he's a Cowboys fan and he did an Eagle stack. It's almost like he's trying to grovel <laughs> at your feet. Uh, a plus for a cereal. Oh, great. wow. Wow. Great, great draft there. He took three quarterbacks too with Jalen hurt. So maybe he's worried about injury. Maybe he's, he's, <laughs> he's quietly nagging you there. Hey, thank you everyone. Uh, tuning in as always. Make sure you follow Andrew Rob on Twitter at TD King twenty three no, or no, no A no. Rob twenty three. <laughs> Jeez, A first Rob, time on the show. I understand. A hey, Rob twenty three. You, you, you got like five handles. What <laughs> A Rob twenty three on Twitter. Subscribe to the SGPN Fantasy Football A lot Podcast. Of aliases. Uh, check out draft day where him and Kramer will be drafting for 24 hours straight coming sometime in August, middle of August there. Check us out at the fantasy football expo. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, second weekend in August, check us out circus sports end of August, sign up for the circus sports millions and the survivor contest. So many ways to win. Thank you for participating in the yes. sports gambling podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green, and he's Ryan. Uh, Andrew, I think uh, Zeke not getting drafted. It's going to be one of the uh, donation trigger events for draft day three. <laughs> yes, Kramer, it. let it ride. 